what's up guys this is David Jones on another Photoshop tutorial and today we are going to review the selection tools it's the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool I'm going to look in depth on these both tools that are basic tools on Photoshop today I'm using a picture of Dr. House it's a great show on Fox if you had the time you should see it it's very nice and I'm going to use his picture as example what I want to do the quick selection tool that's the first I'm going to to review here what what does it does it selects everything that you want based on colors and what's near the brush you are using so let's see here I want to select Dr. House and do not select the red part I, I only want to take Dr. House on this picture so let's begin what, what you have to do is you get the, the, the quick selection tool and you go selecting everything that you want it's basically that is a very good tool for selecting and we we'll see that we are getting almost everything that you we want so here I select almost everything that I wanted the only thing that's not so good is this red part here so what can we do we go to this column here and we see that we have three options of the quick selection tool one of them is the the regular the other is the plus with the plus signal where the, we add more selection and the minus signal the subtract signal we get the subtract signal and we go on wh where we want to deselect it L let me decrease my brush size and here we go and you see basically we did a pretty good selection pretty decent selection and now we can get Dr. House of, of this picture so the quick selection tool is great for selecting almost anything you like and we we got Dr. House pretty, pretty perfect here and if you want to take off his head on the selection you can do it's the same thing we did before okay so for the quick selection tool that's it that's a great tool and we are going to uh, I, I use it a lot and you may use it as well okay so let's go to the magic one tool here the magic one tool is kind different for the quick selection tool because it, it does not select like like a brush it's it's only uh, uh, the, the one and what the what does it does it select colors it go after colors so I want to select this red background here this and this so you see le le let's see what happens when we click it okay you see I select all this part and this part here because what the the Photoshop uh, understood when I selected you see here on this column that's the tolerance the tolerance is the tolerance of the colors that the magic one to search the 32 means that it get 32 tones above and 32 tones below the color that you select first so if I want to select more I have to increase the tolerance let's see what's happened if I put here uh, 50 okay now let me select again and you see I got everything all the colors and the magic one tools uh, the, the, that basically it that what the magic one tools does and you can see here that you have this contiguous box that is unmarked when it's unmarked that means that the magic one tools will search for all that color on all the picture and I clicked here and took this side of the picture too let's see what happens if I get only the contiguous I press the, the contiguous box I deselect and I select again you see that it does not get this side here and this part here because Dr. House and uh, his body his head is on the way of the other side so magic wand do does that too it uh, separates the the parts that are on the on the picture and you can to select more things on the screen that you from other colors or other part of the screen let's see here you can press shift and click on the space that you want to fill and done it get it if you want to get more like the, the doctor house glove it get all the colors that are inside it and 
on this way to got the whole picture but you you understand it okay that was it I hope it uh, enlightened you if you have some uh, doubt about quick selection max you want to you can ask me on the channel uh, if I hope you like the video if you like please subscribe I'll see you next time bye